Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe and I host the Valder Beebe Show. Go online to ValderBeebeShow.com and find more of our interviews. But today I'm on site and I'm going to be interviewing Selena. Selena is a, was, and is in her heart a caregiver. And I want everybody to listen. Hi, Selena. Hi, Val. Tell me, let me put it this way. You know, no one thinks they're going to need a caregiver. That's true. We most think we're going to be able to take care of ourselves. Is that true? Well, hopefully it is, but at some point in our lives, we all need a little bit of help. And so my, my father was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 1989. And then when you're first diagnosed, it's scary. And then when you start taking the treatment, sometimes it leaves you sickly. You're not able to drive yourself to your appointments and things like that. So you need someone to step in. So that's why I stepped in. I helped drive him to his, um, uh, his appointments. Um, it's always good to have somebody with you to talk to the doctor because you're scared so someone can go with you and write down questions for the doctor and then just to make sure that you're taking your medicine, um, that you're you know, being able to get your meals together. And so that's where caregivers can step in. They can do that for you. And when you're taking care of somebody, you feel like, well, you know, it's your father so I want to do it all by myself. But it's important that you ask for help yourself. Did you have a good relationship with your father? Let me ask you why. You know, People are living with animosity between their children and their loved ones and, and their parents. But that those people may become need to be your caregiver. So did you have a good relationship? Um, yes, I did. He was um, he made us all be independent. So to see him have to ask for help was very hard. Um, and so yes, and I guess even if you don't have a good relationship with your parents, you still I feel have a moral obligation from God to, to take care of your family. Well, I think you should work on your relationships before you get into that position where you need someone. So people, you know, I mean, people all the time say they haven't spoken to their sister in 30 years and my daughter, oh, I haven't heard from her. And I think, excuse me, those relationships need to be mended. Yes. Because you never know. It's, it's kind of like you never know if you're going to have to cross over that bridge again. That's true. That's true. What was the best thing about taking care of your father? Um, to be able to return um, the care that he's given me and my sisters over the years. That's just a very sweet thing to say. So if you had one recommendation for my audience who are uh, maybe caregivers now or maybe caregivers in the future, what would you say a recommendation for a caregiver then? I would say, it's going to sound strange, but caregivers have to take care of themselves. You can't give if you're tired and exhausted and grumpy. So when people ask you for help, you're like, no, no, I can do it. But you need to say yes. Yes, let them come in and back you. Yes, let them come in and run some errands, wash the clothes. Let them give you a little bit of break so you can maybe go out to dinner with your friends. So take the help. Learn to say yes. Learn to be well and healthy and take care of yourself. Thank you for tuning in to the Valder BB Show.